Hi, this is Trey Pass. I'm going to do a reaction to, this is X-Men 97. I believe this is based on the X-Men cartoon that was on Fox back in the 90s, obviously. And I don't know if they, it's a continuation from that or not. I don't know exactly what it is. At first, I thought it was they were just, um, you know, re-showing the old episodes and stuff. Uh, but I think this is like a continuation of it with the same animation style. And I really enjoyed that uh, Fox animation. They had two great shows on there, actually. It was the X-Men 97, and they also had Spider-Man, a great version of Spider-Man. I think with Christopher Barnes, that's the actor who played, who did the voice of Spider-Man, Peter Parker. And that was one of the best Spider-Man animated shows ever, hands down. I think that's my ultimate, my favorite of that era. I think it was just fantastic. And, of course, the X-Men, because, you know, I grew up re reading the X-Men, I was a massive fan of the x-men co comic book you know the you know the john byrne and uh chris claremont terry austin run i was a big fan of those so i'm looking forward to seeing what this is i think this is might be a continuation but i'm not sure so let's check it out and see what it is please hit the like and subscribe button uh before i start this so we can uh check this out and it's about a minute and 46 seconds so let's get right to it i'll be right back with my reaction okay let me put my headphones on okay here we go right now Go. Watch the series finale of X-Men next Saturday morning. Mm. Check your local listing. Mm. I'm grateful to have the chance mm. to say goodbye. Mm. I am proud of you all, my X-Men. Mm. Fate lies in our hands mm. now. Now. Mm. Now. Marvel Anime. We have to stay vigilant. Mm. The professor entrusted us with his dream. Mm. No matter how dark it is. Mm. Set knows. We must believe in each other. Mm. Black Labs. Go on, Wolverine. We get this done by working together as a team. Mm. Jeez, Bob. Keep buzzing in my ear. Mm. It's Mark. Expert return, yeah? <laughs> All new episodes. <laughs> to me, my X-Men. <laughs> Magneto, the last will and <laughs> testament of Charles Xavier. <laughs> Everything he built mm. now belongs to me. What? <laughs> oh, okay. That looks cool. I'm glad it could be new episodes. I guess it because and we saw Jean, I guess, being pregnant. I wonder if she's pregnant with Rachel or anyway. Uh <laughs> that looks good. Like I said, I was a big fan of that, you know, the uh, that X-Men, uh, that version and stuff. And uh, I think Forge, that's his name, right? The black X-Men from the future? I think I saw him there. I think his name is, no, it's not, no, not Forge. Forge was the guy that could do, right? Could do the, uh, what's his, what's his name? I can't remember the black X-Men's name from the future. Uh, 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 they, I guess, you know, you shoot at him and he absorbs the powers and shoots it back. I think Forge is the guy that could, does the, uh, uh, can do anything mechanical. I think that's Forge. That's why I think it's Forge, obviously. But uh, it looks like, yeah, again, I like the lineup. Again, you got, <laughs> got Cyclops, Jean Grey, Wolverine, Gambit, uh, Rogue, uh, Jubilee, and uh, I forgot what the black, what his name is. I can't, I'm drawing a blank, complete blank at his name. Uh, hold on. Let me see if I can look that up real quick, what his name is, because I'm drawing a complete blank. Uh, let's see, home, let's see, uh, X-Men, X-Men, hold on, from the future, from the future, uh, hold on, not, not Cable, <laughs> because we know that's uh it's uh uh black 
X-Men. Because remember, they sent him back to the future. I remember the cartoon. They, An older Wolverine, and then they sent him back from the future to, um, to help the X-Men. Uh, hold on, what's his name? Bishop, that's his name. I'm sorry, I couldn't. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, look at was there any black X-Men? This is the question. So he was created as a way to diversify the X-Men roster and include an African-American among its main characters, something important to the creators, the network, and Marvel Comics. According to producer Boyd Kirkland, turning Bishop uh, into a teenager would not have worked. So that's why, you know, they had him come from the future. Bishop, that's his name. I'm sorry, I couldn't remember his name. And I liked him. It was cool. He had, I think, he had a gun, and then he had absorption powers. Like if you shoot, you know, if he, he could absorb your power and re redirect it back. So I think he was actually created there first, and then he eventually moved to the comics, Bishop. So that was pretty cool. Uh, but I like that, ver you know, I like these versions. And it looks like, I guess, they got most of the voice, hopefully they got, it sounded like they got most of the voice actors back uh, uh, from the uh, series to to do their voices. So March 20th, that's when it starts. That's great. I wonder how many episodes. got to Google that. But I'll definitely be checking that out because, again, like I said, I, lo I really enjoyed that series and stuff so it was really good the animation style was the best all the time but i like the stories and like the voice work so i'm looking forward to watching it and um what else and uh and the, i like that little stinger at the end with magneto uh <laughs> coming in basically because they, they i guess professor x is has passed over and then they i don't remember the end of the did he pass on because uh, i can't remember what the last episode of x-men uh the 97 version, what that last episode was involved in. I know they did the Phoenix thing on their version of that. And I don't think Jim, Jim Gray died in that version. Uh, or maybe she did. I don't remember, to be honest. <laughs> but I just remember watching most of it. And like said, hopefully they have Mr. Sinister on. He's always one of my favorite X-Men or villains, Mr. Sinister. And uh, so anyway... I'm looking forward to that. March 20th. I've got to look up and see how many episodes are going to be. If it's like weekly or stuff on Disney Plus, that would be cool to see that. I really enjoy that. I'm glad it's going to be all new episodes, which is pretty cool. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, I'll leave a link to that. Uh, please, again, please hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll leave a link to that uh, trailer in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. Um, also, I have links down below to my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram. Also, I have a link to my other channel, Bob Views and Opinions. Please check that out as well. Also, I have a link down below to my um, patron. I want to say a special thank you to my patrons. Their names will appear in this video somewhere. I want to say thank you to them supporting me. Always have my back. And again, my patron is only $5 a month. I have tons of content on there, unedited content. I have movies on there. I have Marvel shows on there. I got DC TV shows. I have Gen V on there as well. And the last two things I put up on there were the Justice League Crisis on Infinite Earths Part 1. That's on there. And all of Season 2 of What If Season 2. That's on all unedited tons of content on there so follow the link down below if you want to support me that way also please give this video a thumbs up it helps the channel and i truly appreciate it. also hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you know when i upload new content to this channel and this is trey pass this thing so long and take care